Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial video on do-it-yourself coffee mugs. We're going to be taking these plain white coffee mugs here and we're going to be decorating them to say Mr. and Mrs. for a newlywed couple. For this project you're going to need coffee mugs. Uh, I usually get plain white because they're the easiest for Sharpie to show up on. Just ceramic. You can get them at the dollar store, you can get them at Target, Michaels, any craft store, or anywhere that has home goods. And then Sharpies. If you don't have those, laying around your house or in your junk drawers, you can head up to any craft store or grocery store that usually have them in the checkout aisle. Um, and then the only other thing you need is an oven. So if you have those three things, you can do this project pretty quickly and easily. So to get started, you kind of just jump right in. What I usually do is I take a couple of sheets of paper and I practice what I'm going to actually put on the mug, draw it out a couple of times, get used to how the Sharpie draws, and just get my handwriting nice and ready to go. And then I just start going. Um, before you bake it, you can still wipe it off, so if you make any major mistakes, um, you can really fix it pretty easily just by wiping it off and starting over. So don't get nervous, just go for it, and um, you'll be fine. So now you can watch me draw. Once you feel like you have them nice and ready to go, you don't want to fix it anymore and you're feeling pretty good about your design, um, what you're going to do is you're going to get your mugs and you're going to head to your kitchen. So here we are in my kitchen. What you're going to do is you're going to put the mugs into your oven while it's off. So you're not going to preheat your oven beforehand. You're just going to put them in while it's nice and cold. Right on the rack, right in the middle is fine. Then you're going to put them on in there, and that's when you turn your oven on. So you'll preheat it with them in there so they don't go right from the cold air into a hot oven. That's when they're more susceptible to cracking. So go ahead and set your oven to 400 degrees. Hit start and let it preheat, warm up. And then once it gets to 400 degrees, I'll get a little dinging in about five minutes, and that way I will know to start the timer. So when it hits 400 degrees, that's when you set your timer for a half an hour. So for now, we're just going to wait until the oven says it is at 400 degrees. So in about 10 seconds, the timer is going to ding and tell me that my oven is at 400 degrees. So right about now. So now that it's reached 400, I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. We're going to leave them in there at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. So go ahead and set your timers. going to turn your oven off, but you're not going to take the mugs out of the oven. You're going to leave them in there for another 20 minutes or so and let them kind of cool down, bring them back slowly as the oven cools itself down so you're not bringing them from the hot air right out into the cold air. So just leave them in there. you got another 20, 30 minutes to go read a book, have a glass of wine, do whatever you want to do, and then we'll take them out once they're nice and cool. So they should be pretty cool, but you can open it just in case. Go ahead and take them out. we are good to go. Now that we have our finished product, I thought I'd give you a couple of maintenance instructions. You should be able to wash them just like any regular coffee mug, but you probably will get a longer durability out of them if you hand wash them and let them air dry. If you do put them in the dishwasher, they might fade a little bit sooner than if you hand wash them. And if that happens, they're pretty easy to fix. You just get your Sharpie back out and draw over it and pop them back in the oven like you did the first go around. Let them cool and they'll be looking like new pretty quickly. If you give them as gifts, usually I put instructions on how to take care of them right inside the mug just so the person that gets them knows how to make them last nice and long so they can enjoy them for even longer. So that's it for today's video. Um, like I said, it was a pretty quick and easy project. Almost everybody is capable of it if you do have an oven. So I hope you had fun. I hope you're happy with your final product. And I hope you'll tune back in for our next do-it-yourself video tutorial. Uh, if you haven't yet, go online, read the blog. There's a lot of good information out there for anybody wedding planning or just interested in it. And I am always available for questions. You can tweet me, email me, use the form on my website. I love hearing from you guys. So never hesitate to reach out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys all soon.